Welcome to the world where AI meets creativity for free. In today's video, we're diving into the magic of AI applications without spending a dime. That's right. I'm here to guide you through using a GPT-4 API key absolutely free. We'll craft a creative writing assistant app together, and you'll learn how to ignite your AI journey. If you've ever dreamed of building smart apps without the hefty price tag, buckle up because we're about to turn that dream into reality with open source powerhouses, GPT-4 Free and Gradio. Whether you're a beginner or just curious about AI, this video will show you how it's all possible. Let's get started. Before we moving to build AI apps using Free APK, first I explain something about open source GitHub projects, GPT-4 Free and Gradio. Let's move to GPT-4 Free. Imagine unlocking the power of AI without reaching for your wallet. Enter GPT-4 Free a groundbreaking toolkit on GitHub by Xtechie. This isn't your ordinary API, it's a robust proof of concept, a multi-provider package that juggles requests with finesse, managing load balancing and flow control like a pro. What's more, it's 100% local, no cloud, no hidden fees. Whether you're generating text or crafting images, GPT-4 free has you covered. And with GPL 3.0's blessing, it's all about transparency and community-driven enhancements. Check out the GitHub repository for step-by-step -step instructions, Docker setups, and a user-friendly API, ready to transform your creative vision into reality with GPT-4 free. Okay, let's move to next Gradio. Now, let's pair that AI prowess with a dash of simplicity. Gradio is the open source secret ingredient for the modern Python chef, whipping up interactive web apps in a flash. No web dev expertise? No problem. Gradio transforms complex machine learning models and Python functions into user-friendly interfaces with just a few lines of code. It's like having your personal web wizard, taking care of hosting and showcasing your AI models to the world. Dive into Gradio's GitHub page, where the possibilities are as vast as your imagination. From data collection forms to intricate ML app demonstrations, Gradio is not just about building AI, it's about bringing it to life for everyone to see and experience. All right. Let's dive into creating our own AI application using GPT-4's free API and Gradio. First, I'll start by opening my Visual Studio Code editor. I'll navigate to my project workspace and create a new folder named Chat App. After creating it, I'll open this folder in Visual Studio Code to get started. Next, it's time to open a terminal window. I'll simply go to the terminal tab in Visual Studio Code and open a new terminal window. I highly recommend, especially when working on a new Python project, to create a new Python virtual environment. This helps in managing dependencies more efficiently. So, I'm going to set up a new Python virtual environment using conda. I'll use the command conda create and chat app python the 3 11.0 and hit enter. Upon execution, I receive a warning indicating that a chat app virtual environment already exists in my system. To proceed, I choose to input Y to remove the existing environment and create a new virtual environment. After confirming with Y, the process continues. Once the virtual environment is created, it's essential to activate it. So, I'll use the command conda. Activate chat app and hit enter. This activates my chat app environment. Now that my environment is set up and ready, I clear my terminal to keep everything tidy using the clear command. The next step is to visit the GPT-4 free project page to begin installing GPT-4 free. This will be our gateway to tapping into the capabilities of GPT-4 without the need for an API key leveraging the power of open source for our chat app project. Let's move forward with the installation. You've decided to enhance your project with more capabilities by installing all supported APIs via the Python PyPI package. To accomplish this, navigate to the Getting Started section and find the appropriate installation command. Copy pip install UG4F all and execute it in your terminal by pasting and hitting enter. Once all the package dependencies are successfully installed, 
it's a good practice to clear your terminal window to keep your workspace organized. The next step involves structuring your project. Navigate to the Project Folder section and create a new file named App.py. This file will serve as the heart of your application, where you'll interact with the GPT-4 Free API client. To make use of the GPT-4 Free project for text generation, visit the GPT-4 Free project page and locate the Usage section. Here, you'll find sample code to call the client using the GPT-3.5 Turbo model. Copy this sample code and paste it into your app.py file. Your next steps involve importing the GPT-4 client, creating a client response message, and cleaning up the code to remove any extraneous characters. Ensure to print the response message to the terminal and save your app PI file. To witness your code in action, run the file in your terminal using the python app.py command. Now, let's observe the response message. Begin by sending a hello world message, to which your assistant responds with, hello, how can I assist you today? Experiment with a different query next. For example, ask, what is AI? And save your file. Run the file again using the python app.py command to see the new response. You receive a detailed explanation about AI, including insights on how AI works, and various types of AI, such as self-awareness, theory of minds, and limited memory. This exercise allows you to explore the extensive explanations of AI provided by your chatbot, showcasing the power and flexibility of using GPT-4 free for AI-driven applications. First, I'll clear my terminal using the clear command to maintain a tidy workspace. Curious about the capabilities of different models, I decide to switch from using the GPT-3.5 Turbo model to GPT-4 to explore how it reinterprets the question what is AI, with possibly more depth or examples. By installing GPT-4 free and creating a client to communicate with it, you've seen how it can be incorporated into your AI applications, whether for an AI writing chatbot or any other personal assistant use case. It's truly remarkable how seamlessly GPT-4 Free facilitates these interactions. Now, let's take everything a step further by creating a new AI chatbot complete with a user interface using Gradio. Heading over to the Gradio GitHub page, you'll find all related links in the video description for easy access. Gradio enables the creation of user interfaces for Python applications effortlessly. To get started with Gradio, I'll first navigate to the installation section on their GitHub page. Copying the installation command, I prepare my environment by clearing out the existing code in my app PAMI file to start afresh. Having previously installed GPT-4 free, I now use the command copied from Gradio's documentation to install Gradio in my system. Once Gradio is installed, I clear my terminal again for clarity and return to my app PUI file to begin coding the app. The first step in coding the app involves importing the necessary libraries, including GPT-4 Free and Gradio. With the imports in place, I proceed to initialize the GPT-4 client, setting the stage for our chatbot's brain. Next, I define the chatbot response function. This function will dictate how our chatbot processes inputs and generates responses, Following that, I create the app's user interface using Gradio. This includes setting up the input section where users can type their questions, the output section where the chatbot's responses will be displayed, and adding a title or description to provide users with some context about the chatbot. Finally, I launch the Gradio interface, save my app.pi file, and prepare to test the new AI chatbot. This process illustrates how accessible and powerful tools like GPT-4 Free and Gradio are in bringing sophisticated AI applications to life, enabling creators to build interactive and intelligent systems with ease. Let's head back to the terminal and launch our app by entering the command python app.py. 
Once the app is up and running, navigate to the localhost URL in your browser to access it. Upon opening the app, you're greeted with a sleek user interface. The title, AI Assistant Chatbot, prominently displays at the top, setting the stage for what this app offers. Below the title, there's a description that reads, Ask any question, and the AI Assistant will respond to your questions. This brief overview informs users about the app's purpose and encourages interaction. Moving on to the core functionality, the input and output sections are intuitively designed for ease of use. Let's test it out by starting with a simple greeting. Typing hi into the input section, the app takes a moment to process before replying with, hey there, how can I assist you today? Curious about the AI's understanding, I next ask, what is AI, and press submit. The GPT 3.5 Turbo model swiftly generates a response, offering an explanation of AI. To further explore the chatbot's capabilities, I pose another question. What is AI and explain, like a child, and submit it? This time, the AI chatbot crafts a more child-friendly explanation of AI, showcasing its versatility in responding to varied requests. Now, suppose I want to create another AI assistant app, focused on a specific use case, like enhancing creative writing skills. Let's start fresh by clearing everything and writing new code for this purpose. First up, I import the necessary dependencies for GPT-4 Free and Gradio. Following that, I initialize the GPT-4 client, laying the groundwork for our creative writing assistant. Next, I define a function specifically for generating creative writing prompts. This function will power our app's ability to inspire writers with unique and engaging prompts. With the function in place, it's time to design the user interface with Gradio. This includes creating an input section for users to request prompts, an output section to display the generated prompts, and adding a title or description to provide context about the app's focus on creative writing. Finally, I launch the interface, save my app, .py file and get ready to test this new creative writing assistant app. This process illustrates not just the technical steps required to build AI powered apps, but also the creative possibilities these technologies unlock for developers and creators alike. Heading back to the terminal, it's time to run our app file with the command python app.ti and press enter. Once the app is successfully running, I open the localhost URL in my browser to see what we've created. The user interface greets me with the app title, Creative Writing Assistant. The description beneath the title sets the tone. Unleash your creativity. Get inspired with unique story ideas, prompts, and plot twists. This is followed by the input and output sections where the magic happens. To kick things off, I decide to test the waters with a simple hi message. Almost instantly, I receive a welcoming response. Hello, how can I assist you today? Feeling encouraged, I move on to one of the example prompts. A story about a lost civilization discovering technology. After submitting, I eagerly await the assistant's creative output. As expected, my assistant crafts an intriguing story for me, showcasing the power of our setup. I decide to experiment with more examples, each time amazed at the unique and creative responses generated by the AI assistant. And there you have it, folks a full-fledged AI assistant crafted from the ground up, harnessing the capabilities of GPT-4 Free and Gradio, all without the need for any API key or subscription fees. We've opened the door to endless possibilities with Python, and this is just the beginning. Stay tuned as we venture into the realm of JavaScript with Next.js for our upcoming AI projects. There's a whole universe of innovation waiting for us, and we're just getting started. If you're as excited as I am about this journey, hit that like button, smash subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on any of our future adventures. Keep coding, stay curious, and as always, happy learning. Until next time.